Greetings friends of the universe. Today we'll discuss everything about the Arcturian extraterrestrial civilization. How do the Arcturian race look, where they came from, and what is the Arcturian society way of life? Let's start. The Arcturian race is alleged to initiate from a blue planet orbiting around the brightest star in Boots constellation. Although many think that Arcturians come from the planet Arcturus, this is a misunderstanding and must be known that Arcturus is a star, much like our Sun, but much larger in diameter, mass, and energy. Arcturians are believed to come from an orbiting planet that has not been discovered by earthly astronomers. Arcturians are the most advanced civilization in the galaxy, transcending into the fourth and fifth dimensions. These higher beings exist mostly in a spiritual plane, subjugated by thought and pure consciousness. An Arcturian typically stand from approximately three to four feet in height. The members of this great race typically have a greenish-blue skin and unmistakable large eyes. Their main organ of seeing is actually their telepathic nature, not their physical eyes. Their hands have only three fingers as opposed to our human five. Their sense of hearing transcends even their telepathic nature. They also have an ability to sense with the backs of their heads. It is said that they even have the ability to move anything by using their mind, just like some humans claim to have such powers. They look very much alike, which they are happy about, because it erases the pettiness of comparing looks, which is so predominant to Earth society. The Arcturians do not eat like we do, but rather consume positive forms of energy. The Arcturians only sleep once in a week for a short time, which is their sacred time for soul travel. They possess great spiritual knowledge and are always dedicated to service and healing. They have mastered the techniques of teaching love and peace beyond our imagination, and this characteristic makes them different from some of the other alien species. The Arcturians are a lot like the Pleiadians in character, since they are one of the most loving and non-judgmental beings you can possibly imagine. The average lifespan is from 350 to 400 years. Their highly developed spiritual nature has allowed them to avoid the aging process since they have the ability to transcend time and space. They terminate life when the contract that has been arranged for their existence is finished. There is no sickness in their planet because it was eliminated eons ago. In the Arcturian system, there are no extreme temperatures. Their civilization is one that has transcended duality and lives in oneness. The central belief system that sustains the Arcturians is philosophy of healing and compassion for the universe. The Arcturian civilization is governed by elders of whom only the most spiritually advanced are included. Arcturian society is governed by the elders who are revered by the Arcturian people for their advanced knowledge, wisdom, and extremely high vibrational frequencies. The higher the vibrational frequency, the closer one is to light or spirit. The entirety of the Arcturian's life purpose is for spiritual development. All job occupations and tasks are designated by that individual spiritual journey. Professions on the Arcturian planet are determined by a person's vibrational frequency and the colors in his aura. For example, those who are in charge of taking care of the children must have violet as the predominant color in their auras, for only the wisest souls are allowed to associate with the young. The same is true for those who are allowed to give birth. They are screened and tested in terms of their auric and vibrational frequencies, and when chosen by the elders to give birth to an Arcturian child, they go through an amazing process. The vibrations of both individuals involved 
are raised to a seventh dimensional frequency for the birthing process to ensure bringing in the most highly evolved souls. The seventh dimensional frequency is that of an ascended master. Reproduction is an honor for the Arcturians and one of the most highly regarded professions. The actual reproductive act is not performed in a physical sense as it is understood on Earth. On Arcturus planets, it is done through a kind of mind link in which the male and female energies are perfectly balanced. Through this procreation process, some kind of electron force flows through the two beings and it creates another being that is a replica of the link. The new life form is then taken to a special room that emanates the proper vibrational frequencies until the being is ready for integration into a family unit on the Arcturian planet. In the Arcturian society, there is no competition. They have developed the ability to transcend the ego, the separative, lower, fear-based self. Success is judged only in terms of the measure of light frequency. There are machines that constantly check the vibrational frequencies so that each individual on the planet is manifesting. If one particular Arcturian receives feedback that he is not meeting his own goals for evolution, then immediately the elders send teachers to help that individual. The Arcturians teach that the most fundamental ingredient for living in the fifth dimension is love and compassion. Negativity fear, and guilt, must be overcome and exchanged for love and light. The Arcturians work in close connection with the Ascended Masters whom they call the Brotherhood of the All. They also work closely with what they refer to as the Galactic Command. The Arcturians have long served as guardians of Earth, protecting us from other civilizations with advanced technological development they long to assist our earthly spiritual development and move us into the fourth and fifth dimensions and expand our spiritual understanding. They always act as the protector from negative forces and have always been known to communicate with earthly humans to convey the message of discipline, silencing the ego, and many other ways of self-improvement. As they led a spiritual life, the motive of their life is to assist low-developed races, like the human race, in attaining peace and spiritual development. Arcturians are always able to protect our planet from negative forces due to its advanced starships. The Arcturians travel the universe in their starships, which are some of the most advanced in the entire universe. One of the reasons Earth has not been attacked by warlike negative extraterrestrials has been those civilizations' fear of the advanced starships of the Arcturians. Their ships are state-of-the-art technology far beyond anything we can imagine. They are propelled by crystals that comes from a planet in the Milky Way that has not been discovered by earthly scientists. These crystals have a way of conducting light energy from the great central sun. The Arcturians say that they no longer use computers because they long ago outgrew the need for them. They have other systems that are far more advanced. One section of the starship is a replication of the Arcturian home planet. It has the ability to take any crew member back to their home in his etheric body. This helps to strengthen and rejuvenate crew members who are away from home for long periods of time as they traverse the universes. Another room in the Arcturian starship has a complete data bank containing every aspect of Earth life and of life on other planets as well. Arcturians are able to ingest information by means of their telepathic abilities and through their nervous systems. This process is similar to ingesting food, but it occurs on an energy level. They are able to assimilate information 100 times faster than the average human being on Earth. An Arcturian ship has a room that strengthens the vibration of all who enter so they will not be overwhelmed by even the strongest vibrations of planet Earth. They also have shuttlecraft that are global in shape which are used for activating energy points and grids on Earth.
that have been lying dormant for many centuries. The Erkturians have been working with Earth since life first started on this planet. They have many bases on Earth, and they also have three bases on the Moon. Many of their bases on Earth are inside mountains. Erkturians can manifest physically, but they also exist in the etheric state, so physical matter is not an obstacle to them. They are here to educate humanity, but have had a difficult time dealing with the government and the military, who are primarily interested in military technology, not spiritual enlightenment. The Erkturians could help in an even greater and more open capacity than they are now, but the people who govern the United States and the world are so materialistically and egoistically oriented that they resist the help of these incredibly advanced beings. Instead, the U.S. government made a deal with the Greys, who are very selfish beings, interested only in taking over the world for their own greedy purposes. Erkturians are channelers of energy, masters of their surroundings, and experts at change. They communicate with humans in a very special way through dreams where human access their subconscious mind, but of course, channeling is also a universal way of communication. It is obvious that these tasks are in part due to accumulation of years in study and meditation, but through channelings with Arcturians, they have sent the message that all things we desire to change are attainable because all that they have learned is taught through presence in meditating. Arcturians understand this basic practice and therefore make it a daily practice. Meditation has become much more than a daily habit to them and is as important as breathing. Pressing the importance of meditation when seeking the powers described by the Erkturians is the only way to ensure that humans understand that all powers comes from within. Many seek power yet fail to yield their intelligence to the omnipotent power of the universe. Understood by the Erkturians, power to change, heal, and affect cannot be accomplished without the complete surrender to the changing, healing, and of great internal treasures. Treasures that cannot be obtained from a world whose only focus is on external powers and gratification. This is why Erkturians strongly encourage the practice of meditation, learning oneself in means that are greater to a man's exuberance in external pleasures. Harmony in mental attitude is a complete necessity to access the universal gates of knowledge and power, which have allowed the Erkturians to further grow in their spiritual development. Knowing that humans are in their elementary stage to discovering the true potential that lives within all of us, Erkturians seek to deliver the message of meditation and hope that you too are able to arrive in the collective mind of the universe where all teachings of past lives are attained through peace and harmony. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and join our spiritual kingdom by clicking the subscribe button.